Hello and welcome to Kate Loves. Today I'm going to share with you some of the things I've done to try and encourage my children to begin exploring yoga. So I don't think it's one of those things that you should force on children, but I think that yoga is brilliant for children, so I wanted them to be exposed to it a little bit as they grow up. So I've got a list here on my phone that I'll be referring to, but the, um, I've got a few different ideas that you might like to try. So the first one is to let them join in when you practice. Um, this can kind of seem a bit unhelpful when you're hoping to get into your yoga, but the really good thing about allowing them to join in when, when you practice is that they'll be learning from you without you having to tell them what to do. So um, I wouldn't necessarily always let them join in when you're practicing at home, but I think it's quite nice for the odd time when you are at home and you're just playing and you just let them join in and if they want to climb on you or climb under you or, or do yoga next to you and have a mat next to you, just let them do whatever they want and you get on with what you want to do. Maybe make the shavasana very short. So the second thing um, is I've got um, a game that my children really like. Um, this is called the Yoga Spinner Game. I got it off Amazon. And it comes in, it's quite a good travel game actually, because it comes in this box and the instructions are on the back of the box. And all you do is you spin the spinner and it lands on a particular colour. And inside the box, which obviously you get out before they do the game, is um, a load of different cards. And the different colour cards refer to different kinds of poses. So um, we, I don't really know what the game is because we never actually play it like that, but we basically get the cards out turn the spinner and then they try and reenact whatever's on the card and, and again this might just be for one card, um, this might be for um, one of them likes to do the spin or one of them likes to do the yoga, you just kind of go with the flow but that's quite good because obviously you're not telling them what to do so they like being kind of in charge of a game. So that's my first suggestion. Um, the second suggestion I've got is this book by Baron Baptiste and it comes with these cards. So the book is really nice, it's yoga for parents and kids, so obviously you can do it together and it gives you some ideas about how to use it. And then it gives a story and throughout the story there's different things that you can try to do and um, can do that, so that's quite fun, you can do that. Um, and it came with this set of cards, um, but we don't tend to use them together, I think they just complement it but this is similar to the yoga spinner thing where you get um big these are a lot bigger these are big cards and you choose a card and it gives you a pose and it shows you how to do the pose on the back but it, it this is good because it's got breathing exercises um like snake breath um and it's also got um time in so it's like some quiet time instead of a shavasana you can kind of relax in different ways, um, it shows you how to do warrior one and how to do that and it, and it gives you some things about what it does for you, so planted, reaching and determined, so they're just some key words that will help them learn about that. It does have an instruction booklet but I've never read that, but I'm sure it's really good. It, it gives you an idea of how to build a practice, I think. Um, I also got this CD of music which they seem to really like, it's got lots of um, people that they might have heard of and it's also um, a really good one for in the car, they quite like listening to that one if you've got a CD player in the car. Um, so there's some resources you could get to encourage your kids to try out yoga. The other thing that I found really good is Cosmic um, Cosmic Kids it's called, um, on, which is a YouTube channel and it's got stories of, that they may well know, so they've got a Moana one, they've got different Disney films that they've made into yoga sequences and you do the story and you do the yoga as you do it and that's really good for when you want them to be a bit more active um, and they can, they know the story often so they're quite happy to play along with the, the suggestions of movements. Um, I tried the Moana one with them when we were on holiday and whew, I don't know about them but I was absolutely knackered by the end of it. They, it's much more fast paced than your usual class and it's kind of up and down, up and down, up and down and they loved it because obviously their attention spans are a lot shorter so it kept them engaged. So I definitely suggest some of that for them to try, especially if 
um, you want them to stop sitting around watching TV, it's quite a good way to kind of compromise that they can have the TV on but you've put something on that they need to move to. Another couple of suggestions is um, leave your yoga equipment out and around. Obviously you might not want your house to be messy but I have blocks and blankets and mats in a corner of my living room and they know that they're allowed to play with those and they can put their toys on top of them, they can make towers, they can roll about on them as much as they want and they're not going to get in trouble so long as they tidy them away like the rest of their toys. And that's quite good because it, it stops making your yoga equipment seem special and sacred. I have to say, I don't let them use my really good expensive mat, but I, I just let them play with that and I've kind of resigned that as like family yoga equipment and I'm not gonna get upset if anything happens to it. Um, and it becomes more like part of the furniture and, and stuff that they're allowed to use. Um, and the last suggestion I've got, which is really good if you've got quite a determined child like I've got, and that is to play teachers. Once you've been playing with some of these other resources, you might find that they've got some ideas about different yoga moves, and lots of them have animal names, which seems to go down really well. So you can start suggesting that they play the teacher and you'll copy what they teach you, which is really good because sometimes they come up with really creative suggestions and you think, wow, I'd never thought of doing that. But actually it's really good for in increasing your kind of creativity yourself for your own yoga practice. So there are just a few suggestions that I can um, that I have tried with my own children to get them interested in yoga. If you've got any other resources or ideas or tips and tricks that you've tried with yours, or if you're a teacher and, and you've taught children before, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.